We are uh, in the booth of the International Canine Semen Bank. Jennifer Vauder, um, tell us what you do. I collect and freeze semen for the breeder's future use and the dogs. If you have a really great dog right now that maybe doesn't fit into your breeding program because he's too closely related, 15, 20 years from now, you can bring him back into your breeding program. So dead dogs can continue to dead produce? Dead dogs can continue to produce. What's the oldest, longest dead dog you've heard of? I now know of 40-year-old semen that has produced 14 puppies. As long as it's not thawed, it should still come out be as good today as 20 years from now. I'll put a drop of semen in each of these little holes on a cane and little vials, and that's what it looks like. The vet will then thaw them and inseminate them into the bitch. I got into this business because I lost a four-year-old dog unexpectedly to Lyme's disease. Because I lost him, it set my breeding program back five years. I guess the million dollar question is the mechanics of this. How, how do you get the um, sample? I manually manipulate them. All right. Is that on your business card? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's great for cocktail parties. Though. There you They're go. Like, what do you do for? I'm a lawyer. I'm a, I'm a doctor. Yeah. I get dogs hand jobs. That's it. Wait, but where's the? <laughs> this is not very private. I have a whole room back here. Oh, that's the salon. Yeah. Is there like a? Welcome to my parlor. Said the spider to the floor. <laughs> is it like a doggy porn collection or something? I mean, no. They don't need. Actually, dogs don't need any help. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I don't need a teaser. There is stage fright sometimes. Yeah, sometimes there's stage fright and then you need a bitch that's in heat.